morning. So welcome to my sense of the week. I haven't done one for a little while, so here we go. It's Saturday morning. I was out last night at a party. Before I went to that party, I shot a video on my favorite spring fragrances. In particular, they were floral and suitable for a party. And you know what happened? I wanted to wear them all, but I didn't. I chose Powder and Dust by Sven Fritzkalet because that's my favorite. I do love it. But it reminded me how much I love Nectar de Eels from En Voyage Perfumes. This is by the perfumer Juan Perez, who has the Exotic Island Perfumer Company. I've not tried anything from that brand, but I really want to. It's difficult to get. I don't think they post to the UK. If I can manage to get samples, I absolutely will, because this is stunning. This is a white floral fragrance in particular. You've got Tiara Flower, Frangipani, and Jasmine. There's a kind of ambery, vanillic thing running through it. It's got a real texture to it. Oh, there's a massive fly on my window. Ew, do you want to see it? I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Where is it? Can you see? It's probably not quite as big as I just made out. That's my fragrance for today. It's very beautiful, kind of like a suntan lotion feel, almost a little bit like you're at the beach in that I feel like there's a tiny bit of warm sand going on in there, which is beautiful. I'm off to work. I'm going to do a few hours overtime because I'm a good girl. And so it's a very relaxed day. I couldn't be bothered to put on any makeup. I uh, couldn't even be bothered to put a bra on, but don't tell anyone. So off I go, and I will give you my next perfume a little bit later. So, scent of the night, and look who's with me. Hello. Mr. Smelly. Hello, Bob. So my scent of the night, I've borrowed Mr. Smelly's bottle of Artisan Pure mm -hmm. from John Varg Betos. You like this one, don't you? Yeah. That's why you bought it, I guess. A really good modern designer citrus fragrance. I love the opening. I really oh, love that. It's yeah, it's good. Really, really, really great. Good. What are you wearing? Uh, Dolce & Gabbana by Man, Ooh. a very rare fragrance from 1997. That's really hard to get. And a really nice barbershop sandalwood, lavender, a little bit spicy and sweet, but fresh too and masculine. Kind of musky. Yes, very musky, yeah. Mm. Lovely. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hiya, -bye. scent of the day today for me is Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. Just got a little bit from a decant. It's a very hot day, sunny. Perfect smell like the beach and coconut and white flowers. I love it. Lovely. So I can smell it already. Thank really you. nice. And what are you wearing? Uh, John Varvatos Artisan Pure. So citrus and some herbal stuff and woods. Really nice. Yes. Both liking that one so far, aren't we? I love the opening of that. It's absolutely stunning. Really fresh, natural citruses with some greenery and all sorts of stuff going on. Really, really lovely. Yeah, really interesting fragrance. Yeah. So off we go for our day and we'll catch you with another scent later on. See you soon. Bye bye. Hello everyone, we're back again. So uh, sort of late afternoon now, we're going to go out for a drink at a pub near Clare that's got a beer festival apparently, mm -hmm. so that should be yep. fun. So I'm going to be wearing uh, Supernova from Dua Fragrances. This is their take on, it's a cross of uh, Roger Dove's Elysium, the Parfum Cologne and the Parfum version. They've done a hybrid of the two and it's called Supernova. So it's a fresh, crisp fragrance. I think there's a lot of bergamot in there and a red apple or some kind of apple notes. Okay. Crisp, fresh, bright. Some people compare it to Aventus. I really like it. I'm going to be trying it out. And I will be wearing Atelier Cologne Pomelo Paradis for now because I love how zesty and fresh and bright it is and it's still only what four, half past four in the yeah, afternoon, it's still, still very really nice hot. And sunny. Just had a shower because I got too sweaty today in the sun and I would imagine I'll be respraying something else when evening starts to set in. But for now, copious amounts. That's a lot. Of Pomelo Parody. See you soon. See you in a bit. Bye bye. So here we are on Bank Holiday Monday morning. Yep. I've got Mr. Smelly here and Hello. you are wearing? Uh, Creed Pure White Cologne and that is from a decant that you bought me for my birthday, thanks very yes. much. So it's simple, fresh, a little bit musky, very citrusy. Mm. It definitely smells very creedy, you can tell it's yeah. creed, 100%. Nice. 
and I'm going for Baccio di Voluto from Brigantia Perfumes which is Elanginang, Sandalwood, Vanilla, Ambergris. It is absolutely beautiful. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, I love it, yeah. I love the really nice floral, fresh combination. It smells very yellow floral, kind of mm -hmm. a bit powdery. Yep. Touch Could powdery. powdery yeah. But there's freshness, fresh. I think. Yeah, I really yeah. like that. It, the, the floral with the fresh is, is yeah. beautiful. I love that one. At the moment, you can only get it in the UK. So I'm sorry if that's annoying, but hopefully the perfumer Catherine will find a way to get it to people in America. What's the company called again? And elsewhere. It's called sorry. Brigantia Perfumes. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I really like that one. Gorgeous, isn't it? So we're off for a bit of a walk and we'll probably catch up with everyone in a bit. Yep. See you soon. In a bit. Bye-bye. So, scent of yesterday night. Dan is no longer here, I'm afraid, so I'll tell you what he was wearing. Last night he chose to wear Venetian Bergamot, which is my bottle that he bought for me quite a while ago now, and he thoroughly enjoyed wearing it. And I was really curious to smell it on a man actually, because people do say it comes off a bit feminine. And although you can smell a kind of sweet floral in there, I think the citrusy elements keep it neutral and not too feminine. I really love it. It smelled very good on Dan and it's definitely one of my staples in my fragrance wardrobe. It's a really good way to smell fresh and clean and slightly sweet and all day long. It really lasts well. So Dan was wearing that last night and I was wearing... I wanted to keep it simple and I'm also... Um, was doing a review or sort of working on a review for not exactly a review actually a comparison video with this molecule one by eccentric molecules i was working on comparing this with a homemade isoe super concoction that i made and i really felt like wearing this last night we'd had quite a long day neither of us were aware that we were burning in the sun because we kind of were all over the place here and there, a bit of walking here, a bit of walking there. Forgot to even consider sunscreen, which is really stupid. And the pair of us were a little bit wiped out from lots of walking and lots of sun. And I just felt like keeping it really simple. And that's why I chose eccentric molecules, which basically means that you smell like, what do you smell like? You smell like sawdust, pencil shavings, a bit of a musky, cedary kind of thing, and some mineral-like elements, like, kind of like chalky, earthy smells. It's a simple, very pleasing fragrance, and I thoroughly enjoyed wearing it. That brings me on to my scent of the day. And today was a work day, it's Tuesday, Yesterday was bank holiday, but today back to work with a bang. So yesterday was burning hot sun. Today was bucketing it down. And when I say bucketing it down, I actually mean it was like there were people in the sky tipping buckets consistently down at us. So luckily I was in work all day. I think I would have been gutted if it was my day off because what a shitty day it was. So I brightened my day up with Agonist the Infidels. I really love this one. Super bright yet powdery and kind of slightly zingy. There's pink pepper in there. There's lots of various citruses. Incense, there's a touch of vanilla. It's kind of woodsy. It really is everything in the kitchen sink but in such a nice way. Really great fragrance. It's still been fairly warm today, despite the buckets of water being thrown at us from the sky. So it's kind of a cooling and refreshing fragrance at the same time. So I really enjoyed wearing that today. And now I've got to think about what I might wear tonight. Decision made tonight, Tuesday night, for being indoors on my own, doing naffle, except eat some food, watch a bit of telly, and go to bed really early. I am wearing none other than Cacherelle Lulu. So yes, I do sometimes wear designer fragrances and yes, I do wear cheapies. And this, I don't wear very often, but it is quite stunning. 
it's really really nice i don't know why i don't wear it often when i have worn it i do, honestly i've got compliments it's a very floral fragrance and it does have an old school vibe and i think that's probably from my point of view it's connected to a memory of being very very young and having a tiny miniature bottle which i treasured i loved the smell of it so i would just tip a little bit and do a little dab and love it and it does take me straight back to that which is kind of nice it's slightly soapy in a way it's very it's clean yet it's loud as well at the same time i think it's a gardenia or a frangipani it's one of those very sweet exotic heady florals but there's more going on than that it's got a bit of incense in it and it's definitely got some vanilla but there's this texture to it it's almost slightly medicinal in the opening oh i think i'm gonna sneeze it's really tickling my nose uh, oh I'm not sure if I'm going to sneeze or not. <laughs> Whoa. This could be niche now. In this day and age, with everything that's coming out from designer houses being quite a bit obvious, you know, fl fruity florals, peach notes, caramel notes, all that crap. This, this could be a release from a quirky indie house and it would get a load of love. If you can get over the memory or the history of this fragrance, the fact that it's kind of, I think most people do connect it as a cheap fragrance. If you can get past that in your head and just smell it for exactly what it is, rich, heady, intoxicating, it's, this is a woman with corners, but yet it's not a nasty 80s powerhouse. And I, I'm really sorry if I offend you, but it's no Beverly Hills, whatever it was called. It's not too, it's not difficult to wear like some of those big floral things were. This one's really, really pleasing. I don't know why the hell I'm not wearing that more often. So glad I picked it for this evening and I reckon I'll be reaching for it more often now. So that is Lulu by Cacherel. And I must tell you that my bottle is dated from 1996. So I do have the vintage formula here and I understand it has gone through some reformulation. So I don't know if you bought a modern day version, if it would quite be the same, but when I've had a little whiff in uh, shops here and there over the years, I don't really recognise any obvious differences. But an aficionado who really loves their Lulu may well completely tell you something different. Morning. Today is Wednesday. My scent of the day. I'm taking a bit of a chance. I'm going to give a sample a wearing today. I've never worn it. I've only smelt it briefly on paper and I can't remember anything except I thought it was all right. So let's give it a full wearing. And what we are wearing today is a bouquet Maasai from Parfumerie Generale. It says in the little leaflet here, coffee and cashmere wood. Built on a coffee cashmere accord, a Maasai explored the path of olfactory bitterness in a woody oriental composition by treating its components in their roasted, burnt or pyrogenic aspects. I'm guessing pyrogenic is to do with fire. Bokeh Masai is a rich, faceted, highly contrasted floriental in which the initial coffee cashmere wood accord steps into a bouquet of peony, magnolia and caro carunde. Softened by tolu, balsam, sandalwood and fruity touches. So let's give it a spray. God, I hope I like it. It's so kind of scary. Ooh, okay. It smells like marshmallows to start with, which is no bad thing. Kind of like what you get from L'Artisan Parfumeur's Traverse du Bosphore. Reminds me a little bit of that, like a fruity, floral, marshmallow, slightly soapy kind of smell. Pleasant, quite like it at the moment. I'm guessing it's gonna change quite dramatically. I feel that 
It's just not at the moment smelling like what I was expecting and we'll see how it develops. I'll probably come back and give you a little bit more on this one. Have a great day everyone, I'll see you in a bit. So just a quick update on Bouquet Maasai from Parfumerie, Parfumerie Générale. So what I got from it was on the way to work I noticed it kind of smelled a little bit like a freshly cut young tree, like a green moist kind of wood smell and a little bit of sweetness coming through. It changed on my skin, it got more dry woody. There was, uh, a, there was definitely a coffee smell which is in the notes, a sweet, light coffee smell. And then it kind of changed into a sweet woods. I didn't really get much smoke from it and it was very nice, but it didn't excite me, it didn't really do it for me. It didn't project very strong from my skin and it was quite a light fragrance in that it was quite translucent. It wasn't a thick and heavy cloying or syrupy in any way. It definitely had this lightness about it which is quite nice but it just didn't excite me very much. And I've just resprayed a little bit on my hand and immediately I'm transported back to that same comparison that I said earlier. Traverse du Bosphore from L'Artisan, I get that kind of marshmallowy, almost Turkish delight element from it, but from my experience this morning, it doesn't last that long until it starts switching into the more woodsy and then the coffee kind of notes. There's something slightly fresh coming through and that might be one of the floral notes. I think there was peony in there, could be that, but I'm not entirely sure. All I can tell you is that come lunchtime, I sprayed something else. I went on with a powder and dust because I love that. It was in my bag and I had to, I had to do it. Bokeh Maasai is just very, some might say meh. I think meh would be a little bit unkind. It may appeal to some of you. I would compare it, if you want a ballpark idea of what it smells like, something like the sexiest scent on the planet from 4160 Tuesdays, but I just prefer that a lot more because it's got a more zing to it as well as the sweet, soft woods. So that's it for that. Hi, yet yeah, so it's Thursday. My fragrance of the day has been White Queen from 4160 Tuesdays. It's the end of the day now, it's nearly 6pm, I've been at work all day and this fragrance has been surrounding me in a bewitching spell. It's a coconut which is almost desiccated and slightly toasted. There's some wood chips and there's some creamy elements which are lovely. At the same time, the texture of the desiccated coconut and the wood chips remains. So you have creaminess but also a textured almost like you could eat it. It is definitely a gourmand-esque fragrance, really beautiful and I like it very much. So that was my scent of the day. Here comes the cat. What's your scent of the day darling? She is just looking for attention, aren't you? <laughs> that was some bonus cat porn. Hello, so my scent of the day today, and it's Friday, and I've already been at work. I went in very early and I finished at half one so that I can get home to see a heating man who's going to try and sort my radiators and heating situation out here because I'm having to have the heating on and it's quite warm just so I can get hot water. It's a bit of a pain. So gonna look to sort that out and he's hopefully on his way I thought I'd tell you about my sense of the day today and I say sense it's a plural because I'm wearing two so on my arms I liberally applied tons of pomelo paradi which is a lovely grapefruit thing with sweetness and some kind of a slightly woody musky backbone it is beautiful very very simple but I love it and then up here I've gone with Zerjof 1861. Perfect fragrances for a sunny day. 1861 to me smells like a fruit salad, a really lovely fresh fruit salad with again a little bit more going on. The longevity has been pretty good. 
I generally do get a full day, although today's been quite warm and I probably will now reapply just because I can. <laughs> 